using heat beads as a source this afternoon. We have gas this morning, we've got coals at lunchtime, and we're using the beads this afternoon. Who's playing with beads? Stephen is. You're playing with beads too. What's your name, sweetheart? Lady Renard. Lady Renard. <laughs> so you're enjoying the beads, Lady Renard? Love the beads. What do you like most about the beads? They're nice. They're, they're light. They're light. To carry. Absolutely. Four kilos to a bag. Yes. Yeah. I have got wood in my Yep. That's incorrect. Yes, alright. You know what I like the most about the beads? I've got two to two and a half hours of consistent heat. Which makes it very, very which makes them very good if you're learning about heat control in the camper. Yeah? Now people often ask me, first question, how the hell do I light it? A lot of people have trouble lighting beads. Now there's two types of beads. There's your regular beads, like the ones I'm using here today. The These are the ones that heat bead was sponsor of mine. These are the ones that I've asked me to use. Generally when I do these shows I like to use the easy light ones because when I light them in one of these lighters, throw the flame up like this, kind of looks me, you know. So what's this problem doing over here? So the easy light beads are a three kilo bag, they're a bit dearer. Uh, you'll get the same results. Heat beads say that they're not suitable for use on camp ovens or in small barbecue cookers. Okay? I believe, when I ask them and question them, I believe the reason why is because people take the beads, put them on the lid, put the cigarette lighter on, and wonder why they go out. Yeah? That's the problem. That's how stupid humans are. I'm not sure if you're aware just how stupid you are, but let me tell you, you're not real bright. Okay? Present company, you said. Absolutely. So, that's what they look like, this black. Once they've lit, they'll come to a point which they refer to that they've ash over, which means they have that nice white colour. See that nice white ash all over? And they'll burn right down to sand. Two to two and a half hours of very accurate heat. It's very good heat. Okay, well consistent is what I should say. Yeah. Okay, so when I light them, this one, this old bead lighter here, I've been using for four years of these shows, and as you can see, I've just made that up out of a bit of flu. Yeah? Yes. Four years I've got out of that so far, it's running hot, it's going well. You can purchase ones like this one, from Heat Beads, yeah? And it's pretty good, it's got all the features, you can you know, do all the stuff, you know? But I like doing things the hard way, too. All right. And I can sit in your billy, it fits up there just nice, see that? Okay, now, put your desired amount of beads in there, whack some sort of fire under them, and give them at least half an hour, a good half an hour for them to actually get lit and ashed over. Okay, they do take some time, whether they're easy light or regular beads makes no difference, they'll take about the same time to light. Okay, now as far as putting a flame under them, I generally use just the, uh, well I like, I prefer to use the natural fibre fire starter. Yeah, so it's a fibre something like that. No, it must be coconut husk or something. Yeah? So I'll leave them there for a better look at them. The chemical ones I find quite hard on my throat. They make my throat sore, they don't like the smell of them. These ones I use indoors. Okay? And with the easy light beads, you get little to no fumes at all. So you can pull the roller door down, get out the scotch bottle, start throwing at the dartboard, and you put it in and down the shed. Beautiful in the middle of winter. There's a heat source, probably two or three of those I've used to get this, to get this pile going. There's probably up to about 25 in there. We only really need about 10 or 12 to do these dishes. Okay. Now, the bottom of the beer can, a bit of tissue, paper and metho, you'll get the same results. Sit it up on your gas burner, again, you'll get the same results. Go and throw it in the fire, again, you get the same results. Just some sort of heat to get them going. Yeah? Right up. How many do I use? That was your next question, wasn't it? Good guess. Good guess, yeah. I've done this before, see? Now, what I generally say to people is, use the take to, add to method. Are you familiar with this? Okay. 
how many heat beads do I use? If I have a 12 inch can button, I take two and put 10 underneath, I add two and I put 12, uh, 14 on top. That across the board will give you pretty consistent or good heats to cook most things you want to cook. If you've got crackling mm -hmm. you want blistered, chuck another half a dozen on the lid, it'll blister. Yeah, get a bit more heat into the lid, because that's where we're cooking our meals from, isn't it, in the camp ovens? We want most of our heat on top. Yep. Yeah? You're an old man, you do a bit of camp oven cooking? Well, I've done a little bit, not much. Yeah, yeah. Right. But you're familiar with what I'm saying. Am I getting it right? Yeah, mate, you're right. Absolutely right, eh? Go on. I'll tell you when you get right. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've lit the beads, we've given them half an hour, we know how many we're going to put on the camp oven. Yeah, so I usually use about 10 to 12 on these little ones, usually 500 and, and 6 on top. Yeah. So, where am I up to now? Let's cook, eh? Yeah. Right, eh? Let's put it on. Okay, so we've already mentioned about how many beads to use. So all we have to do is use them. Now, these, these um, plow discs are here more for my convenience, so they're up off the ground. Now one thing I'll tell you about heat beads, visit the derm site, it's a little bit hard to follow and get an exact answer, but I've, I've spoken to Parks and Wildlife, cut the short and the thick, if there's a total fire there, you can't use any flame, no. Put gas in your caravan, that's about what you're limited to, okay? You can't light a fire, you can't do these things. However, up until it is a total fire ban, you are able to use heat beads in a national park. They need to be 200 off the ground and they need to be contained. Yeah? So pretty much that's the legislation regarding that. Otherwise, they're treated as an open fire. Yeah? Okay, well we've cleared that up. So.